Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now most of the time when I feature a plant like this Ming asparagus fern here, I use this wall here as a background. And since most of the plants you see there are hanging plants, I decided as part one of my houseplant tour to show you more or less 20 of my hanging plants. So let's have a closer look right away. Okay, first up is one of my many mixed pots that I create myself from several cuttings. And in this one here I got two different kinds of plants. And from the top of the pot the dominant one is clearly this Philodendron Brazil, a vigorous grower. But at the bottom it's clearly this Manjula Pothos that's shining. Next up is a plant that became a hanging plant more or less by accident. It's actually a cutting from a philodendron silver sword that one day just decided to grow downwards. And in my experience the philodendron silver sword is one of the most versatile and also easy care philodendrons. Now the next plant I want to show you is what I call my mystery plant. It was sold to me as a philodendron species Peru, but I'm 100% sure it's not a philodendron at all. And you can check out two videos on my channel about this mystery guy. And if I would have to make an educated guess, I would say that it's some type of epipremnum. But I'm not sure, so, so far the mystery remains. One of my favorite non-aeroid plants is this purple passion plant from Indonesia. It's fuzzy, it's velvety, it has this stunning purple and bordeaux colors. It grows very fast and it's easy to take care for and also very easy to propagate. It can grow upwards or be kept as a hanging plant. So I would say what's not to like about this beautiful plant. Here we have another mixed pot with this time three different plants in it. On the left we got a philodendron micans cutting that is starting to trail down. Then in the middle we got another philodendron silver sword cutting. And then finally on the right we have a cutting of my mystery plant that I just showed you. And I think these three guys go quite well together. These glossy dark leaves that are bordeaux colored at the back by the way belong to my red arrow syngonium, which is a slow grower and I have to say not the easiest syngonium in my experience. And I can add that these leaves are actually quite leathery, which is pretty unusual for a syngonium. Alright, this monkey is hanging on to a classic hanging plant. This is of course a Scindapsus pictus. And each leaf has a unique pattern. The plant I think is doing okay, but it might lack a little bit of light, because as you can see, the space between the leaves is getting longer and longer, so perhaps I should look for another spot for this plant. Here we got one of my biggest hanging plants, which is the heart-shaped philodendron. Once again, a very easy to keep houseplant that just keeps growing no matter what season we are in or no matter how much or how little light it gets. So this is definitely a plant that I would recommend to people who want to start a houseplant collection and who don't have a lot of experience yet. You can probably tell from all these needle shaped leaves here that this is a Ripsalis plant also known as a jungle cactus. This is a plant that I bought years ago 
and I found out that Ripsalis plants actually really thrive under artificial light. This here is one of my favorite hanging plants and also one of the few anthuriums that I keep in my collection. This is the Anthurium Friedrich Stahlii and I just love the simplicity of this plant with its very long and narrow leaves. Now I put some sphagnum moss on top of the soil and I try to keep the moss humid while at the same time keeping the soil not too wet. And that seems to work just fine. The next pot with hanging plants on the shelf is a bit hard to see, so I'll take it down. So growing in Pon, we got on the left a Begonia Tamara, and on the right we got a cutting from the purple passion mother plant that I showed you earlier in the video. And I think that these two very different plants actually team up quite well together. Alright, this guy here is an Epipremnum Pinatum Marble Planet that I got, I think, three years ago. It's a tough plant, it's a slow grower, but it has character and it has beautiful dark green leaves. I also think it's a cultivar, which means that normally you will not find this guy in the wild. Here in the background you can see one of my many spider plants and this guy is growing in water. And also in the background I keep some very old golden pothos plants. Also very easy care as you know. They started in the water recipient on the right, then they made a pit stop in the recipient with pond on the left, and then finally they trailed further downwards all the way down until here. Alright, that's it for these more or less 20 hanging plants that I wanted to show you today. Some of them are classic hanging plants and some other ones are plants I think that you would not expect to be trailing downwards. By the way, all these plants are growing in nothing more than artificial light. Alright, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you liked it, please consider liking it and or subscribing to my channel. For now, I say goodbye and I hope to see you back really soon on my channel. Bye bye.